Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm gonna share with you products that I love that other YouTubers don't like. <laughs> I just did the kind of companion video um, where it was products that I hate that other YouTubers love, but this time it's, it's ones that I love, or I, I, sh I guess I shouldn't say love love. Some of them I just really like, and other YouTubers don't like. And I every time I see it in a video, I'm like, really? But I'm like, yeah, you know, to each their own. We all have different skin and wants and needs and stuff. Um, so it is what it is. My classic phrase, it is what it is. But I love these products or really like them. So if you like this kind of video, definitely subscribe before you leave. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Let's go ahead and get into it. By the way, on my lips, I'm wearing the new Gigi Hadid lipstick in Austin. Speaking of that, one product I actually quite liked that a lot of people did not was from the Gigi Hadid line. I actually really like the little eye contour palette. The only gripe I had with this, it's a shadow palette, was that the pans are comically tiny. I mean, they really are. And frankly, the price point, $15, I think is high. But I actually really like this palette. Now, it is powdery, but I feel like it blends pretty well, and these are totally colors that are up my alley. And I think that's why I really like it. Um, you've got to tap your brush off or blow it out, whatever you want to do, so that way the powder's not getting everywhere. But once you do that, I think it blends pretty nicely. This is totally like a travel companion palette for me because I love these shades and I use every single one of them. So do I think it's like the most amazing product in the world? No. But did I actually really like it? Yeah. I'm wearing it today. I threw on some of her shimmers. You'll see in that video I'm trying it on so you get to see it in action. Um, there are some, like I don't like her shimmer shadows. I don't think those are very good. But I really, I actually really liked this palette. And I feel like it deserves a little bit more love. And like I said in that video, the swatches don't tell the whole story. So I could swatch something and it swatches eh, like that one does. But when I'm actually putting it on the eye, it looks really nice and it blends really well. So there you go. I'm drinking cold coffee at this point. All right, one, another product that other YouTubers don't like, and I'm like, what? Is the new Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Primer for face and neck. I really liked this stuff. Push the bottom and it comes up. I, literally every time I try to push it up, every single time. And so it's kind of like one of those classic pore filling primers because if you use too much, it can pill up. And I think that's why a lot of YouTubers don't like it. But for me, I only use it on my nose and I really like it there um, because all I'll have on underneath it is a really thin moisturizer. And then I just put just a tiny bit there and I feel like it fills in my pores really nicely. I don't use this all over my face though, so I think if you did always use this all over the face, you probably would see a little bit more of that pilling that can happen with any product like this. Even expensive products like this can do that, so you kind of have to be mindful and figure out what works, but I thought it was a pretty decent primer, and I think other people are like, oh my gosh, it's terrible. I'm like, okay, I don't think it's terrible. Calm down. But um, I've been using it now for, gosh, probably two months, and I, I actually really like it. Here's one that I, I just kind of thought I wouldn't like, but other people are kind of giving flack to. Now it was sent to me and I'm always honest with you guys when things are sent to me. If I like it or I don't like it. I, I don't have any fears that if I'm going to be taken off a PR list because I can afford to buy them if I were dying to try them. It's not that big of a deal. So it's the Clover palette from Too Faced. I'm going to be honest. This came in the most stupid packaging. It was so wasteful. It was like a pink plastic fire hydrant and of course I'm appreciative but I'm like this is so wasteful so you open it and there's a doggy toy in it now Pinocchio loves the doggy toy but it's all about Jared Blandino the owner of Too Faced um, his dog Clover um, and the colors together I was like ew nope don't like it it's too much for me however I have fallen in love with some of the shades in this it doesn't seem to have any sort of a smell it's a lot to look at but it's kind of cutesy um, but I thought it was gonna be really dumb really kitschy I love, like there's the shade Cuteness Overload. That is my favorite shadow for on my lid. Um, Chihuahua is like the best kind of crease and buffer color. Uh, what else? Oh my gosh, Paw Print is like this kind of purplish mauve. Fell in love with that shade. The, honestly, the mattes don't swatch that well, but they look really nice on the actual eye. So here's some swatch, like you, these are two of my favorite shadows and you can't even, you can barely see them in a swatch, but they look gorgeous on the eye. So, you know, there's enough colors in here that I like if I could just get rid of like the bright ones that I know I'm, myself I'm not gonna wear. Um, do I think you should go out and run and buy this? Mm, maybe not, because it is expensive and if you don't think you're gonna use most of these shadows, you're better off buying maybe the chocolate bar palette where there's a lot of these kinds of shades, 
but I didn't think this was a bad palette. So I just think it was kind of odd. Um, I don't know. The names are cute though. Chihuahua, Paw Print, I Rough You, Rut Row, Cuddle Buddy, Love is Love, Wet Kisses. It's really cute, but I don't think you need to run out and buy it, but I don't think it's a bad palette. Does that make sense? Next thing that I love that other YouTubers don't like is this Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. This is like my favorite concealer. I've been using it all month long. I'm wearing it today, and I'll even show you me applying it today with a sponge. It's got a sponge tip applicator. It's a really creamy formula. And it just blends so nicely. Now, it does still crease like every concealer I've ever used. It still creases. So I always set it with a powder of some kind. But it's just a gorgeous gel-like concealer, which I love. I feel like it stays in place all day. It really does a nice job covering that area without it looking dry, which is my biggest problem with a lot of concealers. It can make my skin just look dry and gross. This doesn't do that, and I love it for that. And I feel like it's rare to find a concealer like that for me. And so when I did, I was like, oh my gosh. And it's actually, you know, somewhat affordable. So like all of these will be linked below, but I absolutely love this concealer. I don't know why other people don't like it. Like I like this better than the sharp, the tart shape tape, the sharp tape tape. Anyway, um, I like this way better than that. Another product, now this is expensive. So again, I'm not saying you need to run out and buy it, but I'll describe it to you and you decide if that's something that you would like. It's the Givenchy Photo Perfection Fluid Foundation. They sent me this a long time ago in like three shades. I'm in the shade four Perfect Vanilla currently. I love this stuff, but I think that people, it, it's tricky because it's such a high price tag and you want it to be the most perfect foundation. For me, it works really well with my skin. It's moisturizing, it's not glowy, but it, your skin can kind of still breathe through it but it doesn't have high coverage. It's got like light to medium. I would say maybe medium if you build it up. But I think a lot of people that like high coverage foundations hate this stuff because of that reason. They want a lot more coverage and this just doesn't provide that. But for me, it stays in place all day. It just, like I feel like my skin likes it. Does that make sense? Like I've tried a million other high-end foundations and I'm like, mm, don't like it. But this one, I genuinely, like every time I put it on, I'm like, it's gonna be a good makeup day. And it always is, because it just helps everything just look so nice together. Um, it's got SPF of 20, which is funny that it's photo perfection. I don't know if they're using photo in the sense of like, you know, sunlight, that kind of, like, I'm thinking of photosynthesis, do you guys know what I'm saying? Um, because I think with SPF of 20, there might be flashback with it, so it's just kind of a confusing title. Um, but I really, really like it. Again, it's, it's incredibly expensive. Do you need to go out and buy this? No. But if you like that medium coverage and you want a nice, like maybe you have a gift card or something, I really liked it, but only if you don't expect full coverage because it won't give that to you. The last product I almost didn't mention because I don't like mentioning Too Faced that much because I'm not 100% sure that I love this the brand. Um, there's a lot of just weird things that the owner's done and um, I don't know. I've even gone on a brand trip, not a brand trip, but like a gone, flew out to an event with them. And it was fun and great, but I don't know. I guess I'm still forming my opinions about the brand, and Too Faced makes some of my favorite products, like, truly. This is something that was also sent to me, and that's why I was like, I don't want you guys to feel like I'm only mentioning products, because trust me, I talk bad about a lot of products that are sent to me. But these, I thought would be really bad. Everyone had said, oh, these are terrible. I actually kind of liked them. But again, like, the, here's this bronzer. It's their Too Faced Bronze Peach. It was part of that, like, peach collection. And it's a cream bronzer, but everyone's like, it doesn't really show up. Well, I agree. But if you use like a sponge, and this is how I apply it every single time, and I get a bunch onto the sponge, you can kind of, I can put a little bit more, you can kind of stamp it where you want it. And I feel like it looks so pretty. Um, you've got to really dig in there though, but I think it looks really pretty, really kind of as natural as it can be. And it doesn't make your skin look any more dry. I'll put it up near the um, hairline up here. I really like this stuff. And it stays in place pretty well throughout the day. And it does have that kind of burnt peach smell, which I like. But I was impressed. And no one else liked this. And I think it was because, I don't know, I think either they didn't know how to use it or maybe they were doing their finger. Or maybe they have darker skin and it just didn't show up. That's the other reality. There's only one shade, which, you know, if you don't have a maybe lighter skin tone, it might not show up very well. Although the swatch is actually decently dark, but I don't think it goes on that dark. The other one is their Peach Frost, and this is like their highlighter. The blush I didn't love, I have that, but the highlighter I think is pretty good too. 
Again, I do it the same way where, I guess I can put a little bit more on. Um, I'll use the tip for this and I'll do that and just kind of pat it on that region. And I actually think that it looks really nice, especially if you're doing like a quick, like no makeup look. This is an amazing way to just throw on some glow on your face and it looks really pretty and natural because it's a cream, but it's not like a liquid where you have to be really careful about where you're placing it. This you can kind of slap on and it just looks like a healthy glow. That's why I like it, really. So I was impressed with these. If that sounds like you'd like it, I think it's worth the money. If you don't like cream products, then you're not going to like them because you're not used to using it. You know what I mean? But I, I, those I really was impressed with and I'm so surprised that so many people bash them. <laughs> so those were all of the products I wanted to mention today. If you enjoyed this video, like I said, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see the companion video to this, which was the products I don't like that other YouTubers like, I will link that below. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.